Have you ever wanted to add that perfect touch of ambience to your Unreal Engine 5 project with string lights or lamps but just couldn't get the lighting right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to create stunning emissive materials that will make your lights shine bright and really bring your scene to life. And the best part, it's quick, easy and incredibly useful. So let's dive right in and get started. As we get closer to one of these lamps, you can start to see the importance of paying attention to details in your scene. Realistic lighting and materials can truly bring your project to life. That's why today we're diving into the world of emissive materials in Orange Engine 5 and how they can be used to create stunning visual effects for string lights, lamps, and more. Stick around for some quick tips and tricks that will take your scene to the next level. So in this regard, I am going to create a new folder and let's name it as, for example, emissive. Yeah, that would be okay. And let's open it and I'm going to create a new material and I will name it as emissive underline, for example, light. Yes, just like that. And after that, I'm going to double click on it. And here we have our material editor window. So. The first thing to do is to change the material domain from surface to light function. And as you can see, here we have the emissive color option, which is available in our material. And after that, I'm going to search for constant three vector by right click on a blank space. And here we have our constant three vector. And I'm going to define a color, for example, a light color or something, maybe. A bit yellow would be okay. And after that, by holding the one key on the keyboard and a left click on a blank space, a color parameter will be created. And I'm going to convert it to parameter by right clicking on it and selecting this option. And let's name it as brightness because I want to control the brightness of this emissive material. And finally, hold the M key and left click on a blank space. And we have a multiple and let's connect these vectors like this but don't forget to set the default value of this color parameter of brightness to one and finally let's save it but i forgot to convert this three vector constants to the color parameter so i will be able to control the color of my material from material instance because I am going to convert this material to instance by right clicking on it and here we have create material instance and let's name it as mi underline emissive underline light and yeah just like that all right now that we have created our material I am going to assign this material to this lamp okay let's change its material to the mi underline emissive material that we already created and here we have okay let me just focus on it and as you can see the brightness isn't enough okay it definitely isn't bright enough so i'm going to the material instance and check the brightness and by increasing the brightness value, you can see the difference. The brightness is increasing in the viewport and we can absolutely control it. And also we can change the color of this emissive material and we can select whatever color that we desire to have in our project. And let's change the view to the camera. And here we have that lamp that we created its material. So there you have it folks, adding a touch of emissive magic to your scenes in just a matter of a few clicks in Unreal Engine 5 Material Editor. Now go forth and illuminate your world with the power of emissive materials. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more Unreal Engine 5 tips and tricks. See you in the next video.